would describe Gallapalooza as a colorful, wonderful, fun community activity. Gallapalooza is a 501c3 nonprofit organization that supports community beautification in our community through two ways. We first have a round of statues, public art statues that are out on the street, and then we sell those to raise money for permanent beautification projects such as the lighting on the Big Four Pedestrian Bridge as well as landscape projects with Brightside. Uh, we have had three rounds of Gallapalooza. The first one was in 2004, the second one was in 2009, and obviously this round is in 2015, where we're going to be having approximately 50 artists creating more than 70 statues to date. This year we have three designs. We have a horse on a barrel, we have a large horse, and we have a six-foot tall mint julep cup. Well, the 2015 theme of Bridles and Bourbon came about because we had done horses in the past and people loved them. However, we wanted to try something new and with all that's going on, the nationwide craze, the world craze really about bourbon right now and how Louisville is uh, you know, becoming kind of the hub or the gateway into bourbon country, we wanted to pay tribute to that. Gallapalooza is really excited to have so many wonderful artists involved in this process. Dan Colon has created one that was very sponsor specific. Computer Share is a, uh, an Australian based company who's new to Louisville and they wanted their horse to represent their uh, ties back to Australia. Pam Stockard uh, has worked with Dan Colon in the past to create designs in 2009. She's doing the other half of the Computer Share Australian horse, which is the Great Barrier Reef. Talked with Dan and said it might be really nice to have maybe one side an oceanscape and then maybe the other side something to do with the landscape itself. Well, we have the, the Great Barrier Reef, the coral reef, so we have, we have a shark and a sea turtle. We have a pair of dolphins, a mother and her offspring. And then um, the coral reef, we have various colorful fish and a seahorse down there. And then we have a crocodile on the tail. <laughs> they specified they wanted a koala bear built onto the horse, so that was really what we kind of had to design around was the koala bear. <laughs> What's on the other side, uh, there's a kind of a silhouette image of kangaroos, all kind of uh, in a field. and Aboriginal art going around that uh, all the way up through the face and, and, and the body. He's also creating two for Thornton's, uh, which is where he works and one of our large sponsors. Um, one of them is a Beatles theme. He's a great musician and, and loves the Beatles and so he wanted to pay tribute to them. And then his third design is one that he wanted to do called No Less a Thoroughbred which is a um, tribute to veterans who have lost a limb while they were in service. And so he has a prosthetic leg on that design and you know, just wants to again reinforce that just because you know, things have changed that they are still very much a champion. People who see this horse, they are gonna take pause and they're gonna find what it means to them in their own minds. I don't have to say anything. I don't have to sell anything. I don't have to do anything. It means what it means to every individual that looks at it. Andre Foreman uh, has a wonderful, colorful, just amazing style that um, you know catches your attention. It's very different from what a lot of people do. And um, he has created a design that pays tribute to the bourbon industry and that whole distillation process. Well, uh, my sponsor being Brown and Foreman, which I'm very appreciative of them uh, choosing me because that, to me that's just a great honor. Um, I wanted to portray not only the, um, the process of making bourbon, but uh, how that it affects the communities also, you know, the, um, the jobs it creates, 
and also the impact that it makes on the world. Also, I wanted to just show my pride of uh, being a Louisvillian and how it, it all of this happens right here in Louisville, Kentucky. I wanted to put the, uh, have the old Foster um, water tower there, as well as uh, various little spots of the community in Louisville, uh, Church of Downs, uh, to, um, the downtown area, St. James. And as we kind of go around the horse, we get into the worldwide distributed community. So like my first part here is Germany, kind of fades into the French distribution, and then toward the end of the horse, the worldwide distribution. And mainly the colors describe what's going on. So the barrel portion starts with the cooperage, which is the process of assembling the barrels from getting the wood, uh, the processes of treating the barrels before they can even uh, apply the bourbon. So I go from that to the actual distilling process and the bottling processes. If it, if it captures their attention and makes them get in there and start looking and ooing and ah or just smiling, then I've done my job.